In this mini video lecture, I shall be talking about two very important system softwares called as the linker and loader. The lo knowledge of the loader is not that very important, but the knowledge of the linker at a conceptual level is important because when you get an error, you will exactly know why you got that particular error. So the best way to understand the working of a linker is through this particular piece of code or this particular example. Let us say I have written a small piece of code. Let us say to calculate the area of a triangle using Heron's formula. If you remember Heron's formula, it is square root of S into S minus A, S minus B into S minus C, where A, B, C happen to be the sides of a triangle and S happens to be the half perimeter, which is A plus B plus C divided by two. Now, if you write a program in any high level language, you will almost never be writing your own square root routine or your code. What you will be doing is most of the high level languages will provide you something called as a library. So you will write rest of the code and in your code you will include this library to tell you that I am using this library which gives me the square root. So what your compiler will do is it will take your code written in high level language, convert it into an low level language or object code or machine code. Now this code if you try to run it is not going to run very simple reason because the square root code does not exist in your code. So what happens is from the library a software called as the linker will take the square root code and link it or join it or merge it with your code. Now once you link the square root code with your code then the complete linked code which includes your original code as well as the square root code from the library is the final executable called as the .exe on Windows or a.out on Linux and Unix. So now you are able to run this particular code on the machine. You will not be able to run just your own code because the square root code which was not written by you has already been written by some experts is available in a library. The linker takes it from the library, patches up or joins it with your code and you are able to run it. That's why the linker is referred to as the binder or the link editor. I've already given an example of square root and how it is done. So linker basically joins or patches your code with code written in libraries or code available in libraries or code written by some of your friend who is working on the same project. So the advantage is it combines the output of the compiler or the assembler into a single joint code so that you are able to run it on the machine. So I hope this gives you a clear idea of what a linker does. Now once it is linked, the code cannot run. Even after linking, the code is still available on the hard disk. It is not in your main memory. In order for the code to run, the code from the secondary memory should be transferred onto the main memory. You may think this is very simple, just cut and paste it, but there are certain small problems which I will explain to you using this particular example. Now, let us say this is the code I have written. Okay, forget, don't look at this side. At address 0, I have an instruction add. Okay, and at address 10, I have an instruction called as jump to location 20. And in 20, there is some other code. So just to resummarize, at address 0, I have the add instruction. At address 10, I have a jump to location 20. Okay, and whatever is the instruction at location 20, it will come to execute. This is the code, how it looks on your hard disk. But once I load it onto the main memory, it will not look like this because in the main memory, the location from 0 to 100 or this portion may not be free because it may be occupied by some other program or the operating system. Now if I take this and put this here, it will not work because if I say jump 20, jump 20 is in the area I am not supposed to use. So this software loader, what it does is. It takes add but adjusts the address of add, say the location from 100 is available. Now it puts add at the 100th location. It puts jump at 100 plus 10. So at 110th location it puts jump. And at 120th location it puts whatever is that instruction here. And also what it does is this jump 20 is now added with 100. So now it becomes jump 120. So it comes here and begins to execute this particular instruction. So this is the job of the loader. It adjusts the various positions in 
the main memory based on the information of the secondary drive and based on the availability of storage space in the main memory. So what is a loader? A loader is a software which takes an executable program from the hard disk or the secondary memory and puts it into the RAM or the main memory and transfers control to the CPU so that the code can be executed by the CPU. It does a few other important things. Suppose you try to take your code and you've written code which tries to damage this area or load into this area, it will check whether you have the permissions of memory for that, whether the memory is available. It didn't try to load it here because memory was not available. And after it does the loading, it hands over the instructions or the control of the first address or the starting address to the CPU for execution. So suppose you have code A and code B, it, it could take code A and put it here. It could take code B and put it here and the address adjustment just as it did here, it will do here and here also. That is the job of the loader. So with this, I hope your concept of a linker and loader is clear. The loader not so important, but understanding linker is important.